Hey Gary, I'm a realtor, and our team puts out a lot of video. <laughs> now in episode <laughs> eight, you said it was important to put out daily content. So my question to you is, if you are a realtor, what kind of daily video content would you produce? So that was a tremendous video. Let's uh, all at the Vayner Nation pay attention to multiple things, including he was wearing the ROI of your mother t-shirt, uh, the fact that he dinged the uh, jab, jab, jab in the background, a random man walked by in the background, which is a reference to some of the stuff we've done in the show. Uh, if you're listening on the podcast, I highly recommend you go to YouTube and watch this episode just to watch this video because it was tremendous. Uh, my answer is very simple. If I was a realtor, the thing that I would do more than anything is actually review the area around the places where I sell homes. Let me explain. If I'm selling homes in Milburn, New Jersey, I'm putting out a daily piece of content reviewing the school. Then I'm interviewing the individual teachers if I can get access to them. Then I'm reviewing every local business, the subway shop, the wine shop. Uh, Then I'm interviewing literally people that have lived in the neighborhood for 50 years. I'm putting out content to make you romantic around the stories in the area because people pick them for utility, convenient, what I mean by that is convenience of transportation, how quickly from the office, but they also pick because of the school systems and there's a lot of data out there on that, but how about making it a little warmer and interviewing Miss Robinson, the third grade teacher, uh, and then obviously kind of the amenities around it, right? The playground, uh, you know, the best stores. I, I remember a realtor telling me that people have moved to Short Hills because of Wine Library. I thought that was cool. Felt like such an anchor to that area. Uh, and so what I would do is daily content on the 20 mile radius or the 10 mile radius around the area where you sell the homes. The stories that are tucked away in the businesses and the school system and the iconic neighbors that have been around forever. Those stories are the narrative that will create emotion which will be on a tipping point scale on a 50-50 maybe the thing that tips someone to buying your home. Oh crap, wait, subscribe! <laughs> I need subscriptions because I can't push this many right hooks in social, so subscribe!